Yo, what's up? Dr. Swole here, MD Bodybuilder, back with another video. Today I'm going to be getting my body fat percentage measured. As you guys know, I'm pretty deep into contest prep. I'm currently a bit more than four weeks out from my main show of the year, and we are getting shredded. So I'm going to take you along with my day today. We're going to see how my physique is looking, and we're going to measure my body composition. But first, we got to go to work. I'll try and walk you through what I'm eating these days. Here is my breakfast, which is a chunk of lean ham. Update you guys a little bit on my prep. Man, it's been a while since we did a vlog. I'm currently working at BC Children's Hospital doing my pediatrics radiology specialty rotation. Which is nice because it's really close to my place, so I can just walk to work. And that's a little bit of built-in cardio right there. I actually haven't been doing any organized cardio up to this point in prep. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of staying away from cardio for as long as you can when losing fat. Here's why. The problem with cardio is that it doesn't give you as linear a response to increasing your calorie deficit as you would expect. So for example, if you started adding 30 minute sessions of cardio and then you up it to one hour sessions, you won't necessarily get a linear increase in weight loss. And the issue is metabolic adaptation. So your body will find ways to conserve energy throughout the rest of the day. For example, through decreased movement, and it will end up offsetting the amount of calories that you're burning from cardio. Now, the problem with this is that now that you've added that cardio to your regimen, you now have this time drain that is built into your schedule. So let's say you were doing like 30 minutes of cardio a day, and now you're not really losing weight anymore. You're gonna have to increase that amount of time that you're spending on a daily basis. And I just hate the idea of burned time. Anyways, now that I'm getting into that last stage of prep, things are getting very restrictive and we are really getting into that sort of unhealthy territory. Things are going to be temporary, so this is the time to take more drastic measures and I'm bringing in cardio at this point. And this is the radiology department at the Pete's Hospital. Here's some x-rays and a kid we're worried about a fracture in. It's 9.30 and I'm going to be having one of these prepackaged premier protein shakes from Costco. Just a handy protein source. Hey guys, it's a little after 12 and I am off for the day. Got to do some cool stuff today. I did a barium swallow, which is where you get the kid to drink some contrast, which is basically like x-ray dye. You shoot x-rays while they're swallowing it and you can see if there's any issues with their esophagus or stomach or duodenum. So that kid was normal, it was cool to see. I'm just gonna head home now and grab some lunch. I actually really like prepping through the spring because as you kind of descend deeper and deeper into prep, the weather is also getting progressively nicer. Like the sun today is amazing. So, so it's kind of nice to offset the dredges of your dieting phase. I think it'd be harder if the weather was getting worse. All right, so I'll show you guys what I've got for lunch. I've got some of these pre-packed chicken breast bites from Costco, which are grilled and really convenient. Got an apple, and then these are my daily vegetables, so I'll dip into these while I'm here. Guys, so I'm here at Body Comp Imaging with... Hi, I'm Jenny. Hi, I'm Eileen. Yeah, so if you just wanna go over what we're doing here. Yeah, so you're here for body composition scan, essentially. Um, we do your scan, it's six minutes long using a DEXA technology. You lie down on the bed, it's pretty pain-free and non-invasive. It's a low-dose x-ray passes through your body, different in your body, different density compartments. So we use a three-compartment model here. So on our sample report here, um, we basically separate your body into fat, muscle, and bone components there. And then derive your fat percentage as a ratio of how much fat you have to everything else. And this one is going to position you on the bed. So you're going to lie down with that. You're heading towards the window here. Uh, so look at your numbers today, Bill. You're at 21 and a half pounds of fat, 121 and a half pounds of lean mass. So lean mass is not only just your muscles, but also your soft tissue. So organs are accounted for in there. And then your bone mineral content, 6.5 pounds on your body. So as an overall ratio, you're at 14.4% body fat today. It's the largest scale of population. So looking at this graph here. 
you are in the lower end for males your age, your body percentage fat here. That's an awesome value to see here. So in other words, you're leaner than about 99% of males your age and height. Anyways, that was interesting. What else that I thought would be cool to do would be to actually test my body fat using another method. So I'm going to be going to my gym where they have a bioelectric impedance machine, which basically measures the resistance of your body and then estimates your body fat percentage based on the electrical resistance. So I think it'll be fun to compare to the DEXA. I think the numbers from scans like these are really going to depend on the machine you're using. She did say that a lot of bodybuilders from kind of our lower mainland area do come through that place. And the leanest she's seen is about 12% on that machine. So take from it what you will. I just had another meal, which was another pack of that chicken breast, as well as some more vegetables. So here's the bottom penis machine over here. Got some help from our Hello. friend here. I just got to know you a lot. <laughs> So here are the results from the scan. Sick amount of body fat. <laughs> this one says That's mine. so cool. This one says my body fat percentage is 4%, which is... You're gonna jokes. win. <laughs> this is my dinner. Got some brown rice and roast beef. All right, let's do our physique update here. So as I mentioned before, I'm about four weeks out and I'm pretty happy with how things are going. You can see here that my abs are completely in and obliques are mostly in. We're getting pretty low with our macros, but I still have a bit more fat to lose. So we're going to have to keep chipping away at it. At this point, I think I've got just a little bit more. You can see some lower back striations here, which I'm quite pleased about. And we're really into the digging phase here. So this is the final stages. Just got to push through it. All right, guys, it's 10.54 p.m. Last meal of the day is going to be 260 grams of egg whites and then half of this cucumber dipped in balsamic vinaigrette, keeping it lean. Hey, guys, this is a couple of days later. Had a bit of an audio issue, so i got to record this. But what is my body fat percentage? In summary, is it 4%, 14%, probably somewhere in between. I think the fitness industry puts way too much emphasis on what someone's exact body fat percentage measurement is. In the end, bodybuilding is a subjective sport and what really matters is how much visual body fat you have. That being said, I do see some possible merit in using these kinds of techniques if used as a tracking measure. So if you measure serially over time using the same technique, you could get some information in terms of the actual change over time. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you wanna see more full day of eating videos, check out this playlist where I show you everything I eat as a doctor bodybuilder when bulking and cutting. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.